So in this problem, we need to determine the center and the radius of a circle. And we have the equation of the circle, x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y equals to 12. Now what we'll do, we will try to convert this particular equation in its standard form. So let's first understand what's the standard form. So if we have a circle whose center is given by the coordinate h comma k and the radius is r, then the standard form of the circle is given by x minus h whole squared plus y minus k whole squared equals to the square of the radius. That means if we rewrite this particular equation in the standard form, then this is going to help us obtain the value of h, k, and r. And once we have this value, we can easily obtain this center as well as the radius of this particular circle. So let's begin. So we'll start with a given equation. So here we are given x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y equals to 12. So we'll combine the terms containing x. So we have x squared minus 4x. And then we will combine the terms containing y. We have y squared plus 6y and that's equals to 12. Our goal will be to convert x squared minus 4x to a perfect square as well as y squared plus 6y. To do that, first what we'll do, we'll rewrite the second term, that is 4x, as a product of or a multiple of 2. So we have 2 times x times 2. In doing so, this term 2 is going to tell us that we have to add square of the term, so that's 2 squared, and since this is an extra term, we are also going to subtract 2 squared from it. Now coming to y squared plus 6y, so we will have y squared, so 6y can be also expressed as a multiple of 2 as 2 times y times 3. So this number 3, that's going to tell us that we add 3 squared to the expression and also subtract 3 squared from it. This will be equals to 2. Now, in doing so, we have these three terms. This is nothing but the expansion of x minus 2 whole squared. And then we have y squared plus 2y times 3 plus 3 squared. So that's as the expansion of y plus 3 whole squared. So I've successfully converted x squared minus 4x to a perfect squared. y squared plus 6y is also converted to a perfect squared as y plus 3 as whole squared. And we are left with these extra terms, negative 2 squared and negative 3 squared. We'll transform them to the right hand side and combine with 12. So we have 2 squared, so that's 4. Then we have negative 3 squared, so that becomes 9. Once it comes to the right hand side, and we have 12. So 4 plus 9, so that's 13. 13 plus 12, that's going to be 25. Now we can finally have x minus 2 whole squared plus, now y plus 3 can be also expressed as y minus of minus 3 whole squared. So that's equals to 25. Now 25 being a perfect squared, we have 5 squared. Now if we compare this with our standard form, so we get the value of h. So h comes out to be positive 2 k comes out to be negative 3 and r comes out to be 5. Now that means we now have the center. So the center of the circle is, the center will be given by, so since it's the coordinate h comma k, so our new center of the circle is 2 comma negative 3. And the radius, so we have found out the value of the radius as well, so r is 5 units. 